Hi, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and today I am going to bring you torch paste on a cutting board set. Now, I am not affiliated with torch paste at all. So I got this uh, three uh, cutting board set at Hobby Lobby when it was 75% off. It was originally $79.99, and I paid $19.99. So it comes with three cutting boards and a holder. And these have like a white um, distressed look on them. They are food safe. So we're gonna start with the holder. So I'm gonna be using some Magnolia silk screen uh, stencils, some torch paste, a squeegee, and my heat gun. I am not affiliated with Magnolia any longer. And the stencil we'll be using is called Kitchen Minis that came in the craft club. <clears throat> now we're just going to be using five of these little minis. And we're going to start with the holder. And we're going to use the stencil Kiss the Cook. So since these are new stencils, I have to uh, fuzz them a little bit. So I have my fuzzing cloth here. And I'm just going to put my stencil on there and pull it up three to four times. Once I get that done, then I'm going to lay my stencil on my holder here and uh, just getting in it getting it in the correct position so i'm going to do both ends of the holder now this oh okay so the one i put on first was bless this kitchen and this one here is kiss the cook again you want to fuzz your stencils if they're new I'm just going to lay it on there where I think it should go. I'm going to open up my torch paste. And I just uh, got this off of the internet at their site. I think it's torchpaste.com, but I am not affiliated with them, and I really don't know what their site is called. But if you Google torch paste, you should be able to find this one. And I'm just using my squeegee from Magnolia to smooth it on to the design on the stencil. Just going to get off the extra that's on there because you don't need very much at all. Just a thin coating. Then you want to go ahead and pull up your stencil. And you can see it on there. Now when you're done with your stencils, you do want to clean them with uh, cool water in your sink and then dry them. So look at that one. It says kiss the cook with some lips. And then I'm just going to use my heat gun and you want to use the high setting. Mine has two settings, a low and a high, and I'm using the high setting. See how uh, you can see the red? That's how hot the uh, heat gun is. You want to be careful. I have burnt my carpet before when I laid it on the carpet. Don't do that. I've also... Uh, um, I didn't catch the wood on fire, but I caught, it was a different project anyway. But this one here turns out really good. So I'm just heating it up, and then eventually it'll start turning a dark brown. Now, uh, I did leave this in real time, so you can see how long it takes to uh, burn, I guess. I didn't speed up any any of these in here so you can see how long each one takes. It does take a little bit to heat it up and then once it gets started and starts turning, it goes pretty fast. See that right there? It's looking good. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried torch paste before and if you like it. 
I think it's perfect for cutting boards because it doesn't, uh, you know, make it so you can't use it for uh, your kitchen, you know, using it for your vegetables or whatever you want to put on it. You could still use it as a cutting board. So there it is. Kiss the cook with some lips. Now that we're done with that side, we're going to turn it over and we're going to work on the other side. So I already have my stencil down. Just putting my torch paste on with a squeegee. You want very little paste and you want to make sure you take off the excess. And you don't want to go outside of your stencil because it will burn that. And then once you get it all on there, you just peel off the stencil. There it is. Bless this kitchen. Kiss the cook. Love it. And this is a really nice set that you can give to someone for Christmas, uh, for Christmas, for um, a gift, you know, like a housewarming gift, um, a birthday present. Christmas, you know, whatever. So again, we're just using the highest setting on my heat gun. It does take a little bit for it to uh, heat up the torch paste, but once it starts turning brown, it goes pretty quickly. So you can see it turning brown. And you want to make sure that you're not staying in one place, just holding your gun right in one place because you could burn it. I mean, burn it good. So make sure you're constantly moving your heat gun back and forth. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? Perfect. I love it. So we're going to start with the smallest um, cutting board here. And I'm going to put this stencil in the bottom right hand corner. But since it is a new stencil, I want to fuzz it several times before I start using it. We uh, do have a new neighbor that hasn't exactly moved in yet, but when they move in, I could uh, take this over there to them as a housewarming gift. I may do that, or when I have my next craft show, which was supposed to be this Saturday, but it was canceled and it's going to be rescheduled, I could also sell it in the craft show. So again, put my torch paste on, uh, squeegeed the excess off, took my uh, stencil off, and now I'm going to heat it with the highest setting on my heat gun. Now this one only has two settings, so I'm going to use the higher setting. And really, you do want to uh, heat it up directly above what you're doing there. I'm trying to kind of do it at the side so you can see a little bit, but you do want to hold your heat directly above your torch paste there. And like I said, you want to keep your heat gun moving. You don't want to stay in one place for very long. especially once it starts turning brown. You want to keep it moving. So I'm just kind of moving it back and forth, back and forth. Like I said, again, this is in real time. I did not speed it up at all. Just so you can see how uh, 
the process, how long the process is or how short it is, how, whichever way you want to look at it. It really doesn't take too long. And the outcome is gorgeous. So look at that one. It says shake it up and there's a like a salt shaker or pepper shaker. And now we're going to do the uh, medium cutting board. Again, I'm going to put all of these stencils in the bottom right hand corner. Of course, if you're doing a set, you can put them wherever you want. That's just where I chose to put them. And like I said, I like using the torch paste on stuff like this because you can still use it with your food. So these are still functional um, cutting boards. You don't have to use them just for a design on your wall or decor. You can use them to actually cut with. Because we're burning this into it. So make sure to uh, squeegee off the excess. Make sure you're not going outside of your stencil because if you do and you get the torch paste on there, uh, when you go to heat it up, it will show. So there's that one. Whip it up or whip it good. Whip it good with a, uh, a whisk there. I just thought this was a great little great little stencils to use for this set because it will be in the kitchen. I'm sorry, you can't really see it with me uh, doing the heat gun on it, but you do really want to put the heat gun directly uh, on top of it, not down on top of it, but up above it. And then, like I said, once it starts turning brown, it goes really fast. So you want to keep your heat gun moving. You don't want to stay in one place for very long. Well, you don't want to stay in one place at all. You want to keep it moving. I do not have the torch paste or the stencils listed in my description because I am no longer affiliated with them. So if you want those, you're going to have to Google them. Look at that. Looking good. But I did notice on the very bottom, it just wasn't quite dark enough. So I'm going to go back over it a little bit. There it is. Whip it good. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And now we're going to do our last large board. Again, I'm going to put the stencil in the bottom right hand corner after I fuzz it a little bit because these are new. And you can get um, silk screen stencils just about anywhere. These came from Magnolia Design Company, but Chalk Couture has them. You can get them from Amazon, you know, just wherever. You can get them at Michael's, probably Hobby Lobby. But I would definitely definitely use the silk screen stencils for torch paste. That's just my preference. I just think it goes a whole lot easier. So once I've got that on there, scraped off the excess. And there's the torch paste. That's what it looks like, the kind that I have. So just Google it and then I'm going to use the high setting on my heat gun. And I'm going to try to keep my heat gun out of the way a little bit so you can see, especially once it starts turning brown. I 
I just think these turned out so good and it would be a great gift for someone. And I do know that the spring shop in Hobby Lobby is 40% off right now. Of course, a set of three of these, I, I think they still have them this year. I don't know. I got mine last year after spring was over. So these were $79.99 regular price. Like I said, I got mine for 75% off, so I paid $19.99 for them. But you could just do one uh, cutting board if you wanted to, to give to somebody. Or keep it for yourself. Or if you have an old cutting board, you can use it and put some torch paste on it and heat it up. But there it is. Look, it's starting to turn brown a little bit. Again, I left all this in real time so you can see how uh, long it takes. Let me know if this is something you'll try. Um, put it in the comments. And would you like to see me, uh, me do more of the torch paste? Or is this video enough so that you know what to do yourself? There it is. Life is short. Lick the spoon. Oh, yeah. Lick that spoon. And then whip it good with a whisk. And shake, shake it up with a shaker. Bless this kitchen. And kiss the cook. So this is a great little set. Put it all together. Let you see what it looks like. There it is sitting up. And here it is. And I bent it back a little bit so you can just see. Looks good. I love it. Let me know what you think about it. And here it is. And here's another grouping. The other one said, kiss the cook. This one says, bless this house or kitchen. Again, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts. And if you like what you see here, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know others that might like uh, the crafts that I'm doing, please share my videos with them. And we're only two subscribers away from 500 subscribers. I'll see you in the next one.